My right. name is Ashanti Johnson, and um, I am I have a PhD in oceanography, and I've done a variety of things, including being a professor, and now working for the Institute of Brown Participation, um, furthering underrepresented participation within STEM fields. Well, I became interested in the oceans when I was in third grade. Um, I went, I had a class where the teacher assigned us an independent study project, and so I did a project on dolphins. Um, and from that point on, I did a project every year in the Townsend Gifted Programs up through 12th grade in high school, targeted on some aspect of the ocean. I volunteered, I was actually the first student volunteer at the aquarium in Dallas, and I continued to work towards that goal um, and did my undergrad in marine science and went on to get a PhD in oceanography. So from a very young age, as a result of watching Jacques Cousteau, then I knew I was going to be working in the oceans. And so my third grade teacher, Miss um, Kazee, was the one who really got me going. And then I had the same teacher from fourth through sixth grade, Martha Lee. So she expected me to be an oceanographer. She believed in me and she helped me. And she even was proud and knew, um, gave me a gift when I got my PhD in the project. I have a couple projects where I focus on helping underrepresented groups um, achieve their goals of getting undergrad, grad, and PhD degrees within Earth System Sciences. Um, and so some of those are fellowship directed projects. Um, so the LSAMP Bridge to the Doctorate, as well as the Sloan Project, which provides funding for students to go to USF, University of South Florida in particular, but there are other projects across the country um, like those, as well as the MSPhDs program where we recruit students throughout the country every year to come to a series of meetings and participate in professional development workshops. And to date, we had 146 or seven students have been through that program. And the students come from undergrad through PhD level, all over the United States, Alaska, Hawaii, Puerto Rico. And it's a really good group. And they're supportive of each other. In fact, we see each other as a family. The opportunities are always there. You need to look hard. Um, if you're talented, you should be able to find people to support you and encourage that talent. Don't give up. It might be difficult, um, but there will be people out there to help point and guide you and support you. Um, one of the things that sometimes when it gets a little difficult is finding somebody who, even though they might not know the area or the field, who can encourage you and get you to refocus on your goals. And once you focus in on those goals, don't let anything stop you from reaching it. Find what your passion is, and once you find your passion, then you're able to really enjoy what you do. Um, one of the things I like to do is work with students, and I like being outside. So for me, the idea of working with students and being outside in my field is the perfect fit for me. going different places and going out of your comfort zone. So you might not, you have to, might go somewhere where you're the only person that looks like you. Or maybe you feel like, you know, it's not the type of music you listen to or those kind of things. But the idea is to open yourself up and be who you are and let others get a chance and opportunity to know you. And from that point, you can build bridges and be able to interact well.